Welcome to Understanding Obstructive Sleep Apnea, part of the Healthy Sleep, Healthy Life series. I'm Dr. Alex Chadiak. In this video, we will discuss a common medical disorder of sleep called obstructive sleep apnea. Untreated obstructive sleep apnea not only disrupts sleep, but it also can lead to serious health problems. Have you ever become worried after noticing that your bed partner or another family member had stopped breathing during sleep? During a trip, have you shared a room with a friend or colleague who kept you awake with his or her loud snoring? Or have coworkers ever told you that they never feel rested even though they get lots of sleep every night? If so, then you may know someone who has obstructive sleep apnea. What is obstructive sleep apnea? Obstructive sleep apnea is a breathing problem that occurs during sleep. It results from changes in the body that happen while sleeping. While awake, breathing occurs easily through the upper airway. When you fall asleep, all the muscles of the body relax, including the muscles surrounding the airway. When the upper airway muscles relax, the airway walls fall together, limiting airflow. The disrupted airflow can cause the airway walls to vibrate, making the sound we call snoring. This sound is often loud and disturbing. In people with obstructive sleep apnea, the airway becomes completely blocked, stopping the flow of air. With no air entering the lungs, you struggle to breathe, and the oxygen levels in your blood fall. This struggle to breathe triggers a brief arousal from sleep, which allows the airway to reopen. Sometimes this restoration of breathing occurs along with a choking or gasping sound. These brief arousals are so quick that you are usually unaware of them. However, the arousals fragment your sleep and disrupt its restful nature. This cycle of airway blockage followed by brief arousal which opens the airway and restores breathing can repeat over and over while you sleep. The repetitive nature of this breathing problem can cause drops in oxygen and arousals from sleep to occur up to hundreds of times while you're sleeping. Obstructive sleep apnea also puts stress on other body systems, especially the heart and the brain. Untreated obstructive sleep apnea contributes to the development of other medical problems, such as high blood pressure, heart disease, irregular heart rhythms, and stroke. In other words, obstructive sleep apnea is bad for your health. How can you tell if you have obstructive sleep apnea? If you have obstructive sleep apnea, it's unlikely that you will notice the breathing disruptions during sleep. Because of the nature of sleep, you are not aware of what is happening with your body. However, there are warning signs that may suggest that you have obstructive sleep apnea. The symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea occur both during sleep and when you are awake. Ask people who have seen you sleep to describe any irregular breathing patterns. Commonly, people with obstructive sleep apnea snore loudly on most nights. This snoring can be so loud that it disturbs your bed partner or others who live in the home. Choking or gasping sounds during your sleep may be reported by those sleeping nearby. Some may tell you that they saw you stop breathing during sleep. Another warning sign is that you frequently must get out of bed to urinate. There are also several symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea that occur during the daytime. You may experience headaches when you first wake up. You may also feel moody or irritable throughout the day. Other warning signs include having trouble thinking, focusing, or remembering. The most common daytime symptom of obstructive sleep apnea is awakening unrefreshed and feeling tired, fatigued, or sleepy during the day. You may feel this way regardless of how much sleep you've gotten the night before. Daytime sleepiness becomes most obvious when you are sitting still for an extended period of time. The most dangerous time to feel sleepy is when you are driving a motor vehicle or operating heavy machinery. This situation, drowsy driving, can cause you to crash. We tend to be poor judges of sleepiness. Like most people, you probably underestimate how sleepy you are and how likely you are to fall asleep. This can have devastating consequences. 
Drowsy driving kills thousands of people on our roads each year. In many cases, obstructive sleep apnea is at least partly to blame. Who is most likely to have obstructive sleep apnea? The people who are most likely to develop obstructive sleep apnea are those who have excess body weight, especially those who are obese. However, even people who have a normal body weight can develop obstructive sleep apnea. You may have a narrow airway, a large tongue, a recessed jaw, all of which make it more likely for you to have obstructive sleep apnea. Men have a higher risk for obstructive sleep apnea than women, but the risk for women increases after menopause. In both men and women, the risk of obstructive sleep apnea increases with age. Alcohol can make it easier for the muscles in the airway to relax. Therefore, drinking alcohol can increase your risk for obstructive sleep apnea. The risk also increases if you have stuffiness in the nose. You may develop obstructive sleep apnea even though you do not fit into any of these categories. Your risk for obstructive sleep apnea may simply run in the family because of the genes you inherited. What should you do if you suspect you have obstructive sleep apnea? Talk to your doctor if you think you have obstructive sleep apnea. Your doctor may refer you for a sleep study. The sleep study can be done in an accredited sleep center or sometimes at home. Home sleep apnea test monitor oxygen levels in the blood with a finger clip, airflow with a sensor under the nose, breathing effort with belts around your chest and abdomen. During an overnight sleep study in a sleep center, additional signals are recorded. For example, brainwave activity is recorded to determine when you are awake and asleep. How is obstructive sleep apnea treated? In general, obstructive sleep apnea is not often cured, but it can be managed. The most effective treatment for obstructive sleep apnea is positive airway pressure, or PAP therapy. Therapy with PAP uses a small machine to blow a stream of air into your throat to keep the airway open while you sleep. PAP therapy eliminates snoring, ensures normal oxygen levels while you sleep, and prevents your sleep from being fragmented. A large body of scientific evidence supports the use of PAP therapy. Benefits of using PAP therapy include improvements in blood pressure, blood sugar, mood, memory, concentration, and quality of life. PAP therapy also can reduce the need to urinate at night and morning headaches. If you have difficulty getting adjusted to PAP therapy, you should go to an accredited sleep center that offers support and guidance. Many options are available to help you, including trying different mask types and sizes, adjusting the air pressure settings, speaking with a sleep counselor who can help you to learn to sleep soundly with PAP. PAP therapy should be used regularly. If you plan to sleep away from home, you should also take your PAP machine with you. Are there other treatment options? Another treatment for obstructive sleep apnea is an oral appliance, which is a plastic device like a mouth guard or a dental retainer that you wear in your mouth during sleep. It is custom fit by a dentist to extend your jaw forward and keep your airway open. Surgery on the upper airway performed by a trained surgeon can sometimes help control obstructive sleep apnea. People with sleep apnea are also encouraged to, if overweight, lose weight, trying to keep your weight close to your ideal body weight. Limit the consumption of alcohol. Limit the use of medications that can make you sleepy. Sometimes weight loss can cure obstructive sleep apnea. However, even after weight loss, some people continue to have obstructive sleep apnea that requires ongoing treatment. If you have obstructive sleep apnea and lose weight, a repeat sleep study is needed to see if you still have obstructive sleep apnea. In summary, obstructive sleep apnea is common. Obesity is a major risk factor for obstructive sleep apnea. 
Sleepiness during the day is a symptom of obstructive sleep apnea. Daytime sleepiness makes it harder for you to perform well at work and to operate a motor vehicle safely. Obstructive sleep apnea is easy to diagnose and sleep studies sometimes can be done at home. Effective treatment for obstructive sleep apnea is available. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to talk to your doctor or take a sleep disorders screening survey if you have any questions about your sleep. Healthy sleep is essential for your health, safety, and well-being.